Welcome everybody here. My name is Mike Rokita. I'm the post commander. And before we start the ceremony, I would like everybody to stand and face toward the street there. And we'd like to take a moment of silence to honor the 13 soldiers that passed away in Afghanistan. Thank you very much. And now I'll introduce you to our chairman, Pat Harity, uh, and he'll be taking over the program. Please enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you, Commander Rokita. My name is Patrick Harity, and I will be your master of ceremony. Welcome to VFW Post 9885, 39th Annual Prisoner of War Missing in Action Ceremony. For 39 years, BOVA has honored the 83,000 prisoners of war missing in action still unaccounted for and we will still honor these prisoners of war missing in action every day. Will everyone please rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Right hand salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Two. And now doing the chaplain's prayer instead of Mike Massey will be Bob Campbell. Thank you. I apologize for the way I'm dressed. I obviously, please be seated. I apologize for the way I'm dressed. I'm obviously got taken by surprise tonight. All right. I'd like to remind everybody while we're here, it's an MIA and POW. There are thousands of families who have been living in doubt as to what happened with their relatives. And in keeping with that theme, I'd like to, uh, everybody can remain seated. Just please join with me in remembering the sacrifice that these guys made, that they just unlikely but possible, there are some still making that sacrifice. We'd like to call on our creator to try to make their, uh, any that might be su uh, surviving as comfortable as it's possible to be under their circumstance. We'd like to pray that their families at some point will get a final disposition of what happened to their loved ones. It's an unfortunate situation that when we have to go to war bad things happen, and for some, it never ends. So please, please stay with me on this. May, and remember the sacrifice that these men have made. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. With us today, we have several guests. We have VFW District 4 Commander, Orville Beauchamp. We have State Representative Kevin Coleman. We have Westland City Clerk Richard LeBlanc. Several uh, city council persons, Andrea Rakowski, Jim Gobbout, Mike McDermott, 
Mike Londo. And Facilities Director and U.S. Air Force Veteran, Vic Barra. I'll call your attention to the table sitting in front of the stand here. It is the POW MIA table. This table is set for our prisoners of war and those missing in action from all wars. A slice of lemon is on the bread plate to remind us of their better fate if we do not bring them home. Remember, the black ribbon on the candle reminds us of those who will not be coming home. Remember, the glass is inverted. They cannot share a toast with us tonight, maybe tomorrow, if we remember. The lone candle symbolizes the frailty of a prisoner alone, trying to stand up against his oppressors. Remember, the red, white, and blue ribbon is tied to the flower vase by a yellow ribbon that was worn by thousands who awaited their return. Remember, a single rose reminds us of the loved ones and families of our comrades in arms who keep the faith and await their return. Remember, the tablecloth is white, symbolizing the purity of their intentions to respond to their country's call of arms so that their children can remain free. Remember, there is salt on the plate symbolic of the family's tears as they wait and remember. They will remember what we do. Please honor and remember them. At this time, our guest speaker representing the mayor is Vic Barra, the facilities director and United States Air Force veteran. Hello. Mayor Wild sends his regrets for not being able to join us this afternoon on the 23rd anniversary of the Congressional Declaration in 1979 that the third Friday of September be declared as POW MIA Dedication Day. As you know, he is very supportive of our nation's servicemen and women and asked me to extend his well wishes to you. I am Vic Barra, Westlands Facility Director and the Mayor's Veteran Liaison and I'm honored that he asked me to speak on his behalf in his absence today. Thank you for joining us this afternoon as we come together again to honor the sacrifices made by our, by our armed forces men and women who have served our nation on the battlefield and were either taken prisoner or declared missing in action and have not yet returned home. The POW MIA flag says you are not forgotten. The ceremonies throughout our nation, like this one we are holding here today, are a testament to our resolve to keep those words true. For those of you here today who proudly served in our country's armed forces, know that we have not forgotten their sacrifices and yours. We are comforted knowing that dedicated groups like History Flight and many others relentlessly pursue leads and information in an effort to return more, the more than 8,100 of our fallen heroes still missing in action to their homeland and families, hopefully bringing a sense of closure to their loved ones. As recently as this month, three warriors from the list have been located. U.S. Marine Corps Corporal Andrew Pellerito, who went missing at Tarawa on November 20th, 1943, U.S. Navy Seaman First Class Keith Connolly and U.S. Navy Seaman Second Class John Brock Jr., who were both lost at Pearl Harbor while serving on the USS Oklahoma on December 7, 1941, have been returned home to their loving families. The mayor asked me to share with you that in an effort to bring greater POW MIA awareness to our local community, Mayor Wild has tasked me with his initiative to highlight our fallen warriors in future street lamp displays throughout the city. And we have already begun to collect the information necessary to begin this project. 
If you know of a Westlander, Nankin Township veteran, who was classified as POW, MIA, and would like to see them honored, please contact my office at City Hall, and we will add them to our program. In closing, it is my hope that those Americans who had been taken a prisoner of war or remain missing in action will one day return home to their families and friends. We find solace in the words of President Ronald Reagan when he said, we will always remember, we will always be proud, we will always be prepared, so we will always be free. May God bless all of you, the city of Westland, and the United States of America. Thank you. Thank you, Vic. Every year in BOVA's POW MIA ceremony, we honor some prisoners of war and missing in action. This year, we are honoring Staff Sergeant Craig Mitchell Dix and William J. Cousinow. Staff Sergeant Craig Mitchell Dix was in Vietnam he joined the Army and began his tour in the Vietnam War on October 31, 1967. Dix's military occupation was helicopter repairer. Dix was attached to 1st Aviation Brigade, 11th Aviation Battalion, 12th Aviation Group, 112 28th Aviation Company. On March 17, 1971, he was a crew chief flying in the Bell Iroquois Utility Helicopter near Snool, Sanul, Cambodia when the aircraft was shot down. He was listed in as, miss, as missing in action. His remains were not recovered. William J. Cousinow became a prisoner of war during World War II, serving in the U.S. Army Infantry William was captured by Germany and was imprisoned at Stalag 11 Bravo, Falling Bostel, Prussia, in the war camps 53-09. Final information at the end of the conflict was returned to military control, liberated, liberated or repatriated. Data shows William was in 36 Group Regiment Commands System Undefined Code European Theater, Germany. While he was captive, William Cousinow lost a leg. Thank you for joining us as we pause on this afternoon to honor the thousands of men and women who have served our nation and other nations as prisoners of war and missing in action. As we remember them today and every day, we recommit ourselves to accounting for the 83,000 who remain missing today. Today we also honor the families who are with us, who never deserted hope for the captured and who still hold, hope out, hold out hope for the missing. Your unwavering dedication and love are an inspiration to us all and will be in the future. As we observe this significant ceremony, our thoughts are never far from those who make those sacrifices for our freedom. Families like the ones here today, who send their father, their sons, their husbands, their wives, their mothers, and their daughters into danger with the expectation that the nation will bring them home. Today, as we fly the familiar black and white flag across the entire country, it is not only a representation to honor the POW and MIA community, it's a reminder of our sacred obligation to the men and women we place in harm's way that we'll, we will never leave our fallen behind. Today, we confirm our, that sacred vow, you are not forgotten, with an undying assurance that no matter how long it takes, no matter what it takes, we will not stop until we bring every service member home. We pledge that we will leave no one behind. 
Indeed, this is one of the most important pledges we make, and we have to seize every opportunity to reinforce this fundamental commitment. At this time, we're gonna place some wreaths in, cr in front of the, this podium here. First up is VFW 9885 uh, wreath. Placing the VFW 9885 wreath on behalf of the post is Commander Mike Rakita. Next is the VFW 9885 Auxiliary Wreath. Placing the wreath on behalf of the Auxiliary is Andrea Rakowski. Next is the Vietnam Veterans of America wreath presented by Dan Stachow. Sorry, Dan. Placing the POW MIA wreath is Joe Pachota. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please rise? At this time, we are gonna have a rifle volley following by the playing of taps. Present arms.
Thank you. You may be seated. I want to thank everyone who came out and participated in BOVA's 39th annual POW MIA ceremony. With your continued participation, we, these prisoners of war missing in action are not forgotten. I encourage you to go on the Defense POW MIA Agency's website for continued updates on prisoner war missing in action returned home to the states. Also, you can subscribe to the Veterans of Foreign Wars. Uh, there's a, it just escapes me right now. I'll, I'll let you know where it is, but there is weekly updates of prisoner of war missing in action continuing to be returned to the, to the returning home. Thank you. This concludes the ceremony.